Hey everyone, it's Gary here and this is the second part of my pro tip series for using YouTube in your upsell offers and landing page offers. If you haven't watched the video that teaches you how to make your YouTube videos unlisted, then make sure you watch that video right after this video or you'll be missing out on a great tip. Now in this video, I want to teach you how to make your video autoplay on page load, how to block those pesky advertisements that intrude on your video while it's playing, and then how to make sure that the related videos do not appear at the conclusion of your video and distract your customer from the mission at hand, which is to buy from you. To make it easy for you, I've included a sample link right below this video, so all you need to do is copy this link code and then paste it onto the end of your YouTube video link. Let me show you how all of this works. Now to demonstrate the effects, I've made a simple upsell with two different upsell offers, so let's go take a look at the two videos and see how they act differently depending on the link code that we use to add the video to our upsell offer. So we'll come into products, and this is the product that I've created with the upsell offer. So I'll come into edit, and then into product links. And in this case, I'm going to take the button link because I want to have a button to click to demonstrate this upsell offer. And now I'll click my add to cart button just as though this were a real website. And of course, in this video, you can see that it had the autoplay, so as soon as the page loaded, the video started playing, and at the end, it does not show you the recommended videos. So I'll go down and add this one to my cart. And of course, it brings me to the next upsell offer. In this particular case, I do not have the autoplay set, so the video doesn't start until I actually hit the play button. And of course, at the end, the recommended videos come into play, distracting the customer from the original intent, which is to sell them on this upsell offer. And now let's go take a look at how I created this link and how I added this into my upsell. I think you're going to find this to be extremely easy to do. Now, all I did was take my original YouTube video link, which is this, and then I added this special code, which again is down below this video, so you don't have to take notes at this point. And of course, all I really need is this part of the video ID. So I'm just gonna copy that. And now I'm going to copy this. And then of course, I'll copy the whole thing. And we'll go into our upsell system. go to advanced upsell and I'll come into my component that I already have made and I'll click on edit and this is part of our professional upsell templates with the easy editor and because it already exists I'm just going to edit this one and not build a new component and all I need to do is click on the video and you'll see the edit area opens up on the left. I'll paste in the new code, apply the changes. Really? And there you can see that the autoplay takes effect immediately and the related videos are not showing at the end. To finalize it, I'll just save the changes. And now my upsell is complete without all the recommended videos and autoplay in each and every video inside my upsell flow. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? But using this technique will definitely help you convert more upsell offers and get more people to opt into your landing page offers. It's just one more way that CloudNet360 helps you sell more, faster.